Hello and welcome to Flash Animation, or Animation, the Flash section. Uh, lesson 5, Chapter 5, and this is specifically um, creating character animations using inverse kinematics. It's hard to, uh, difficult to pronounce. But basically where we're going in this direction, or, or the final version, is something that looks similar to this. I'm going to, we're going to test this movie in Flash. So you'll notice that this is kind of the playthrough, the way we're looking at. And in order to build this, we have a number of different objects, and we're actually creating a skeletal structure to go in this particular item. So the very first thing I did is I pulled up FL5 underscore 5, and then what I want to do is I want to come along in here, and I want to choose my bone tool, which looks like that. That's my bone tool. Then what I'm going to do is basically I'm creating a structure behind these particular objects. So I've already uh, gone through and someone has created a group of objects so you get a good idea. Each one of these particular objects are going to be interconnected using the bone tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the bone tool and I'm working off of Flash 5-21. I'm going to grab from here and move it to here. And I'm just going to connect these here so you get a general idea. And what you can see at this point is I went ahead and I drew the rest of the bone structure. You didn't necessarily need me to see, uh, do all that. But you'll notice I've connected each element to different parts, so all the graphics are interconnected. What's important here is I also need to make sure that I connected items uh, to the feet, the feet portion. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change it to my selection tool. It says I want to click frame to 10 in a keyframe. There we are. And I want to, in my frame 10, I want to take the right foot, and I'm on flash 5-30, and I basically want to um, create figure 34 and 35 all the way to 36. So basically what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this foot here. So we're going to grab this here. I'm going to grab, when I get my delta and my bone, that allows me to then move it. So I'm grabbing my foot, I'm putting it right here. And then I want to grab the arm bit, and I want to grab it, and I want to put it up here. And then I want to grab the overhead arm, and I want to put it similar to this. And then I want to go ahead and grab this right here, and I'm going to move it out here. Grab the little leg, move it to where I want it to be. And so it looks similar to the figure 36. Then I want to click on, oh boy. Notice it unselected frame 10. So I'm going to go ahead and undo all these motions because I'm not really sure at what point in time that happened. I'm going to click on, it says frame 10 and armature, then insert a keyframe. So I want to insert timeline keyframe. Maybe I forgot to insert a keyframe. Then while I go ahead and do go through all these motions real quick, uh, I may have done these more than one time, so they're not quite as... There we go. And then I want to grab this bad boy here. That one here. And then I want to grab this bad boy here. And over here. And here. And I grab this. And then I want to grab it where it's up like that. And I'm moving. I'm moving out in kind of the wrong place here. And then down. And then we're going to grab it. Uh, this funky arm. He's being a pain in my boot. There we go. All right, so that kind of looks like it is in a fast way. So now I've got that done, and then I want to click on frame 20. So here's my frame 20. And then I want to click on the free transform tool. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to click my free transform tool. I want to go ahead and select all of the items there. And then with the item selected, I want to drag this and slight and skew it slightly. Um, now I'm going to test the moving. So if I do modify, excuse me, I want to do uh, control test movie in Flash Professional, and I've got it kind of going through that play. Notice it's fairly quick, but I can go through it and I've created it. The next thing I want to do is I want to click on frame one, so I made sure to click on my frame one, okay? 
and I want to modify and convert to symbol. So I want to modify, convert to symbol, and then I'm going to call this movie clip, which is true, and I want to call it MC underscore kicker. MC underscore kicker, and then I want to click OK. So now I've created that, and I want to go to my armature, and I want to delete that. So I want to right-click, and I want to delete that particular layer. Now I've deleted that layer, and I want to click on my frame 1 right here. Then I want to go to my library, grab my MC kicker, and move him out onto the stage. So I've created a movie of that. And what I want to do is I want to insert. And I'm on uh, number 8, 5-31, and I want to do motion tween. And I want to click on frame 20. And then I want to drag the tween span on the timeline to frame 20. So I'm grabbing this, and I make sure I drag it out there. I'm going to click on frame 10. It verified the object selected and press up arrow. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's giving a little bounce halfway through. And on the 20, I want to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm putting it downwards. And this gives the impression that it's kind of jumping up and jumping down. So now I want to do control, test movie, in flash. So it moves up and then moves down. So it's like it's kicking. Um, obviously, you're you know, not as developed as it might. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the actual library itself. So I make sure to double click on the MC Kicker. Notice I'm in the library, MC Kicker. And then when I'm, it says um, display the properties panel of the MC Kicker. And I'm going to make sure I've clicked on frame 1. Right? So here's my frame 1. And let's see, click frame 10 of the armature layer. So there's frame 10. And then it says set the E strength to negative 100. Now, not my particular case of having some difficulty getting the E strength. So let's click slide 10 and my properties level. And I here's my E's. I had it selected before. That's what the problem was. And I want to change the E's to negative 100. Now, what that's going to do, I'm going to change the type list arrow in the E's area, then click sample or, fa or simple or fastest. So it's going to do the most simple transaction. And then I want to cl click scene one. And I want to click to return to the scene, and I want to test my movie. So I want to go control, test movie, in Flash Professional. You'll notice it kind of eases out to where it needs to go. That works. So, the next thing I want to do is I want to open a FL5 underscore 6A. And I want to use the bone tool to create the armature structure as it shows in figure 41 on page 5-33. So I'm clicking this. I want to, here's my bone tool. Notice I'm not connecting the head. So I'm going to connect my torso. Let me go ahead and take care of this real quick. Here's my torso. Shoulder, shoulder, here we go, and there we are, and then I want to click, connect my, kind of my hip here, and then I want to connect my kneecap, I would say my leg, a little funky, but that's okay, and then I want to go ahead and connect my feet. So now I've connected the individual uh, armature. Then I want to click frame 1 on the armature layer. So I want to make sure my frame 1 is selected. Display the properties panel and click type list. And I choose options and I want to choose it to, this is type author time. I want to change it to run time. And then from run time, I want to do file. And I want to do a publish a preview. HTML. I'm going to allow my block content so I can see it. At this point in time, I should be able to grab it and then actually play with it because it's based off of runtime of what I'm actually messing with. So I can rearrange things according to the armature that I've actually created, including the feet. 
Now you'll notice the head is the uh, anchor point. So I can move that all around, you know, and I don't know, hi or some such. Anyway, so that concludes uh, Flash Chapter 5, Lesson 5. If you have any particular questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, um, good luck, and I will see you in Lesson 6. We're almost done with Chapter 5. Thank you very much for your time.